Assalamu alaikum. Uh, DC motors are extensively used in applications where uh, speed control is required and among different types of DC motors, shunt DC motors are the best choice for speed control requirements. So in today's lecture, we shall talk about different techniques that can be utilized to control the speed of a shunt DC motors. So here are three different approaches that can be utilized to control the speed of a shunt DC motor. That is, uh, we can adjust the field resistance to control the speed of a shunt DC motor. There is uh, a variable resistor which is inserted in series with field winding and we can change this resistor to change the speed of the motor. Uh, we can also adjust the terminal voltage uh, to control the speed of this motor and uh, we may insert some resistor over here in series with armature circuit and this is the third approach that can be utilized to control the speed of the motor. So we shall talk about these three methods in more details one by one. We start with the first approach to control the speed of shunt DC motor. So what will happen if, uh, for example, we increase the field resistor? So we know that field current, which is given by IF, is equal to VT over R. F. So if field resistor is increased, IF field current will decrease. Uh, and we also know that the MMF uh, that is equal to the number of turns on the field windings multiplied by the current in the field winding. So if IF decreases, it means that the MMF in the machine will also decrease. And furthermore, MMF is related with flux by this relation so a decrease in MMF will result into decrease in uh, flux. So one effect of increase in RF is a decrease in flux in the machine. Uh, furthermore we also know that uh, EA uh, the generated voltage back EMF that is given by a constant multiplied by flux in the machine multiplied by speed of the rotation of the rotor. So if flux is reduced, generated voltage, the, uh, that will also reduce. And uh, we further know that the armature current that is given by the terminal voltage minus back EMF divided by armature resistor. So uh, if EA decreases, uh, this difference will increase and hence IA will increase. And uh, what will happen to the induced torque in the machine? Induced torque is given by K phi IA. So by increase in field resistor, flux in the machine decreases and arbitrary current increases. So what will happen to the induced torque? One quantity is decreasing and other quantity in this expression is increasing, what is the net effect? To elaborate this net effect, let's take some numerical values. Uh, let's consider a machine operating at a terminal voltage of 250 volts. And uh, the generated voltage in the machine corresponding to certain uh, field current, that is, uh, let's say, 245 volts. Uh, and the, we assume uh, the armature resistance of this machine to be equal to 0 0.25 ohms. So corresponding to this uh, situation, uh, there is uh, an armature current uh, and that armature current is equal to 250 minus 245 divided by 0 0.25 ohms. And this comes out to be equal to 20 ampere. So uh, this uh, is a situation in a machine and uh, uh, let's uh, consider that uh, we change the field resistance and due to that there is 1% decrease in uh, the flux. Machine was working at uh, these conditions and uh, uh, there is a decrease in the flux in the machine uh, for example, due to change in the field resistor. So what is the effect of this decrease in flux? 
So what is uh, Ea? Ea is given by K phi into omega. So 1% decrease in flux means 1% decrease in Ea. So that is Ea2 new uh, Ea will be equal to the previous Ea multiplied by uh, let's call it Ea2 to differentiate it from this Ea. So this is equal to 0.99 Ea because the flux has been decreased by 1%. So uh, everything else is the same, only flux is decreased by 1% that is taken into account over here. Uh, this comes out to be equal to 242.55 volts. Due to decrease in flux, generated voltage is also decreased and that will result into Ia, let's call it Ia2, uh, which is 250 minus 242.55 over uh, 0.25. So this comes out to be equal to 29.8 amperes. So machine was working at these conditions and uh, one there uh, is a decrease in flux that results into current which has been increased and we can see that the increase in current is almost 49 percent. So one percent decrease in flux is associated with quite significant increase in the current. That is, in this expression, if there is a decrease in flux, there is a high increase in the armature current. That is, the product net effect is an increase in induced torque. So, when field resistor is increased, induced torque will also increase. It will become larger than the load torque that is the torque which is applied to the motor. So what will be its effect? The motor will gain its speed that is omega will increase and increase in omega will then result into uh, increase in Ea. Increase in Ea will then result into decrease in Ia. So after these transients uh, what will happen is that uh, torque will again become equal to the load torque, induced torque will become equal to load torque because decrease in Ia will then again result into a decrease in induced torque and at steady state induced torque will again become equal to the load torque but now the motor will be running at higher speed. So everything is clear, increase in field resistor results into decrease in flux and increase in current, net effect is an increase in the induced torque because decrease in flux is less compared to increase in armature current. So as this induced torque increases, becomes greater than load torque, motor will gain its speed. Uh, increase in speed will result into increase in back EMF and then reduction in the armature current. Uh, this transient will continue until this steady state situation is achieved and uh, motor will again start running at some constant speed, but this speed will now be higher than the previous speed. Uh, therefore, uh, increase in field resistor will ultimately result into increase in the speed of the motor. Uh, this effect uh, is also apparent from the torque speed characteristics that we have uh, derived in the uh, uh, previous lecture. So let's talk about this effect with the help of that particular equation as well. So this is uh, the expression that we have uh, derived in the last lecture. It relates the induced torque with the speed of the motor. It is uh, equation of a straight line uh, with a negative slope and the torque speed characteristics uh, were plotted like this one. Induced torque and speed of the motor on this axis. So if uh, Rf is increased, we know that flux will decrease. So what will happen to the equa this equation? Uh, with decrease in flux, 
this uh, quantity will increase that is slope will become more negative and the intercept on the vertical axis that will also increase so with the increase in uh, field resistor the torque speed characteristics will be like this one so this uh, line will become more steeper this uh, slope will become more negative and the intercept on the vertical axis will increase that is for a given load uh, if uh, the machine was working at this speed uh, then uh, by increase in the field resistor uh, it will now be working at this speed which is a higher speed in this uh, case this line corresponds to rf1 and this line corresponds to rf2 where rf2 is greater than rf1 so therefore uh, increase uh, we can increase the field resistor to increase the speed of the motor for a given load however there is one very important warning that you need to remember. What is that? Uh, what we can see is that if we, uh, for example, extend this line for uh, large uh, loads, we get uh, this uh, torque speed characteristics. We have uh, extended this line uh, for uh, uh, more uh, heavier loads, and uh, this uh, torque, uh, which corresponds to zero speed, that is, we increase the applied torque until uh, motor stops this torque is called stall torque generally the rated torque for a machine that is much smaller than the stall torque uh, the full load or rated torque is um, much smaller than this uh, uh, stall torque so this is full load or rated load torque and uh, we also plot this line over here it is more steeper this blue line is more steeper than this one so at rated conditions what we see is that increase in field resistor results into increase in the speed however at heavier loads high loads this situation is opposite that is uh, if you increase the field resistor uh, for example corresponding to this situation if you increase the field resistance speed of the motor decreases uh, what we see from this line is that between no load and full load between no load and full load increase in field resistor results into increase in the speed of the motor however at very high torques that is at very low speeds at very low speeds the situation is opposite that is increase in field resistor results into decrease in the speed uh, however, what will be the situation in between these two cases? That is not uh, quite, uh, we are not quite sure about that. Therefore, uh, when applying this approach to control the speed of efficient DC motors, uh, we should be quite sure about the applied torque 